Good morning, everyone. Myself, Murli Dharadi. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to install Jenkins in Linux using M command. Okay, let's see the demo. I have already created one server. I have given the server name is Jenkins server and also I have connected uh, in mobile stone. Okay, now if you want to install any package, basically what we will do, we will be use M, right? Same thing I'm trying to, uh, I'm, I'm using M command to install the Jenkins. So let's see what will happen. Okay, I'm giving m install Jenkins hyphen y. If you observe here, it, here it is showing like no packages Jenkins available. The reason is this particular Jenkins related repository is not available in, in this particular server. So usually when you install any packages, first it will go to the etc m.repos.d. Okay, inside we have a inside we have a repository Amazon to iPhone four dot repo. Okay, from here it will be taking and it will be installed any package, but Jenkins related configuration, that particular repository is not available here in this particular server. Default, it won't become. That is the reason it is showing like no packages Jenkins available. For that one, what we have to do, we have to add the particular Jenkins repository in this particular inside etc mrepos.d. Okay, let's see. For that one, uh, we are going to install the Jenkins LTS version, right? So for that we require Java, Open JDK 11. So this is the command m install Java 11 open JDK F and Y. I'm using this command. Remember, whatever I'm going to show you, right? This will be work for both CentOS Red Hat and Ubuntu. CentOS Red Hat, not Ubuntu, sorry. CentOS Red Hat, Amazon Linux, it will be work. Okay. Now go come here. I'm using I'm installing Java. Okay, if you observe here, I'm using Amazon Linux, right? For them, they have different uh, command we have to use this command to install okay but if you use that centos red hat this command will be work but i am using here amazon linux server right so they have their own command we have to use that command okay i am using this enter now if you see here the particular java is going to install that is java version is open jdk 11 remember for whatever we are going to install uh, jenkins lts version it required java 11 open jdk 11 okay and if you see here Java 11, it is going to install. Fine. Now I'm checking whether it is installed or not. Java iPhone version. Okay. If you observe here, we have installed Open JDK 11 version. Okay. What is the next step? Next step is we have to enable the EPL repository. Okay. Inside this particular EPL repository, Jenkins related repository will be there. First, we have to enable it. Copy this one. Come here. If you observe here, M install EPL iPhone release. Okay, the particular Jenkins related repository information is available inside the EPL uh, release. That's why we have to install it. Okay, enable it. Enter. If you observe here, I'm using M install EPL release. Okay, but we are using Amazon Linux, right? For them, they have a their own EPL repository command. We have to use this one. Okay, copy this and give the iPhone by. Now, if you see here, the particular EPL repository is going to install. Okay. Got it right? Now, oh, yeah, it is installed. Now, what is next step? The next step is we have to enable the Jenkins repository. Okay. So, this is a command, curl command. If you observe here, I'm going to copy and paste here. Let's see. If you observe here, this is the curl command. It will be download. The particular whatever is going to download that particular Jenkins repo, we are storing in inside etc mrepos.d. We are copying there. Okay. Got it right? Whatever you are going to download this one, we are keeping inside etc mrepos.d. What I said, like if you want to install any package, it will be uh, pick, uh, taking from inside etc mrepos.d, right? So for Jenkins related repo, we have to keep it inside this location only. Okay, just enter. Now it is downloading and it will keep it there. Okay, fine. Now I'm going to inside etc mrepos.d. Let me verify whether it is came or not. If you observe here, EPL related repository is there and also Jenkins repo also came. Okay, just give the cat command Jenkins repo. If you observe here, the base image is Jenkins URL. Okay, got it right? When you use m install command, it will be pick up in this repo file and it will be installed. Next one. Once we enable that Jenkins repository, we have to add that particular repo to the your server. So how you can do? You, you, you can use this RPM command. Using this RPM command, you can you can add the particular Jenkins repository to the system level. Okay, just run this one. Next one, what is the next command? You can use uh, 
m install Jenkins hyphen by command to install it. Earlier it was not working, right? Now I'm using m install Jenkins hyphen by. Okay. If you give this one, now it is downloading. The reason is we already added that repository inside etc m, m dot repos dot d, right? It will be picking up the, from there and it will be installing. If you observe here, the Jenkins LTS version earlier I said, right? 2.361.4 that version is downloading okay based on your internet it may take a little bit time okay it is total 89 mb will be there okay got it right if you observe here it is almost take 11 minutes basically it, it won't take that much time and before that one if you see here jenkins the version is 2.361.4 iphone 1 okay got it right this is the version we are installing okay Fine. Now, if you observe here, this install the Jenkins. Once we install, inst once you install, it won't be run. First, we have to start the particular Jenkins. Okay. As I said, if you remember, if you want to start the system CTL level, first we have to enable it. Right? The reason is in case the particular Linux server, if you restart, if you enable the particular Jenkins service, okay, it is automatically run. If you not enable the particular Jenkins service, okay, if you restart the server manually, you have to come to inside that particular server, you have to Start the particular Jenkins service. Okay. So for that one, what I'm doing? System CTL enable Jenkins. Okay. Enter. Now if you see here, it is created a symbolic link for this one. Might be you will get doubt. We haven't keep it on this particular user uh, lib system D right. And also uh, we haven't kept that particular service right. When you install the Jenkins by default, it will be create the service file. Okay. I have enabled the system CTL enable Jenkins service. Now what I'm doing here. System CTL. I'm taking the status Jenkins. Okay. Now, if you see here, it is showing currently inactive. Inactive means it is not started. Okay. Now I'm going to start the Jenkins. How can do system CTL? System CTL. Then I'm giving the start Jenkins. Okay. Now, if you see here, Jenkins is started. Now we can verify the status as well. First time we are starting that, it may take a little bit time. To start that particular Jenkins. I hope understand right what I'm doing here. First, I have enabled the particular service, then I'm I have verified the status whether running or not. It was showing like inactive mode. Then I'm using a system CTL start command. Using this start command, I'm starting the particular Jenkins service. Now Jenkins is started. Now I'm taking the status system CTL status system CTL. Status Jenkins. Let's see what will happen, whether it is running or not. Okay, Jenkins. Now, if you see here, Jenkins is started. It is almost around 25 seconds back. Okay, what is the port number? As I said, the port number is 8080. Right? Now, we can access that particular GUI. Uh, select the particular server. Take the public IP. Uh, now, the port number is colon 8080. Okay. Now, if you observe here, we are not getting the GUI. The reason is we haven't enabled the port number, right? Same as we did for uh, Nexus, JFrog, okay, Sonar Cube, we have to enable, right? Same thing for Jenkins also, we have to enable the port member. How we can enable? Select the particular server here, right side, we have a security group, select the particular security group, okay? Here we have inbound rule. Inside the inbound rule, we have to edit that particular inbound rule, add rule. Now you can give it here, right, GD80. Here I'm giving that anywhere. But remember, in real time, we won't give 0.0. .0. We have to give the specific IP range only. Okay. Save this rule. Now we can access, you can uh, refresh this one. Now, if you see here, now we are able to, now we are able to access the GUI. Here, by default, we have a password. The password will be stored in inside the valid Jenkins secrets file, initial admin password. Remember, when you are installing Jenkins, okay, default Jenkins path is valid Jenkins. Default Jenkins path is valid Jenkins directory. Okay, got it right? Just copy this one. How can we see this file content? Copy this center path. You can use the cat command, right? Cat, I'm giving that particular path. Okay, now if you see here, the password is came. This is the temporary password. Later, you have to set the password. Okay, copy this. You can paste it here. Control V, just continue. Now, here it will ask whether it's suggested plugins or select the plugins to install. Remember, as I said, like Jenkins totally depends on plugin based, right? Here I'm selecting the suggested plugins. Later part, I will show you how you can install the specific plugin. Okay, just click this one, double click. Now, if you see here, 
it is installing all the suggested plugin. It will be installing all the suggested plugins. Let's see. Yeah, if you see here, all the plugins it is, it is installing. These are the suggested plugins. Default. If you observe here, folder plugin we have. And in case if you if you if we record a pipeline, we have a pipeline plugin plugin uh, for source code management, git plugin, LDAP plugin. There are a lot of plugins will be there. Okay, these are the default plugins it is going to install. It may take a little bit time to install. Okay. Uh, if you see here, it is almost uh, installed the plugins. Now I'm going to set that uh, username password. Here I'm giving the username is Murli. Okay. And the password also I'm giving Murli. Okay. Same password also I'm giving. Same password only. Username password. And here I'm giving that name is Murli Garandi. And here I'm giving the mail ID. Equal with Murli at gmail.com. Remember, currently here we are creating the users. Instead of creating the users, if you want, you can use uh, admin credentials also. But in our case, we are creating the user. Okay. And save and continue. Now, if here it is asking uh, you want to, if you want to change that uh, URL. Remember how the URL will be HTTP, the public IP, and colon 8080. Remember in real time, it won't be public IP. It should be in private IP only. But in our practice purpose, we are logging with connecting with the public ap okay and save and finish and here if you observe java version of so jenkins version also it is showing here 2.361.4 just click the start using jenkins here if you observe here whatever we use right murli if you observe here the user id is murli we have created if you want to log out you can log out and here we have a lot of options as well later video i will show you like uh, jenkins dashboard overview you will get more idea okay and if you want to log out you can click the log out again you can log in with web credentials so remember in real time you may use our ad credentials account uh, active directory credentials or ldap credentials ldap is nothing but lightweight access directory protocol okay i hope you understand that and one more thing as i said like uh, the uh, jenkins default path is in linux where live jenkins remember when you install when you Install using m command the default Jenkins path is varlib Jenkins. Okay, this is a very important condition in interview level. What is the default uh, path of uh, Jenkins when you use when you installing Jenkins through m command? The default path is varlib Jenkins. Inside this varlib Jenkins, we have a multiple files and directories related to Jenkins. We can discuss later part. Okay, I hope you understand right. Any questions? No right. Just I'm, I'm again telling like we have installed Java and then we have added that particular uh, Jenkins repo and then we have added that particular system that Jenkins repo it is. Then we have installed using m install command. Remember the uh, we installed the LTS version, the particular LTS version we require Java open JDK 11. That's why we installed the open JDK 11. Okay. I hope you understand that. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next video.